Hey guys, G-Man here, and I'm on my personal channel. That's weird. Anyway, so here is a video review of SH Figure Arts Shinkocho Seiho Garo. This is actually the first figure in the Shinkocho Seiho subline to not be a common Rider. This is Saijima Koga as he appeared in the first two seasons of the series. But hey, you guys aren't here to look at a box for like three hours. At least I hope not. So anyway, let's take a look at the toy. Okay, here he is, and oh my god, he is so shiny. Like, honestly, as far as looks go, I, I have nothing else to say. He's just so shiny. I mean, don't get me wrong. The sculpt and the paint apps are spectacular, but I just can't get over how shiny he is. I mean, I can literally see myself reflecting off of this figure. And I am now seriously regretting filming this review without pants. Okay, so before I get sucked into staring at this guy for hours, let's go take a look at the accessories. Okay, and for accessories, he comes with four pairs of hands, including fists, holding things hands, open hands, and s more open hands. He also comes with the Garo sword, his scabbard, along with a tiny little chain, and an extra sword handle that pegs into the scabbard if you want to make it look like he's just sheathed his sword for some reason. And with that, let's move on into articulation. Okay, and as far as articulation goes, he pretty much has standard SH Figure Arts articulation. He's got a couple ball joints in the head and neck, several swivels in the shoulder, plus, uh, I believe it is a ball joint uh, on one of the sides of each of his shoulder pads, so you can go up, down, and around as much as you want. The uh, top collar piece uh, is just sort of uh, sort of floating, so you know you can get the shoulders up if you want. You can get them down, and you can move that to at least sort of uh, look like it's one piece. Uh, but anyway, so shoulders can move around as much as they want. They're not really hindered uh, as much unless you really want to go like up, in which case the uh, shoulder pads definitely hinder things. But uh, bicep swivel, double jointed uh, elbow, uh, and one thing that I noticed is that you can actually move the bicep uh, independently. So if you want, you can get a little extra uh, movement. But overall, that is uh, I don't not not fantastic for uh, SH Figure Arts jointage, but uh, I mean, it's something that I kind of had to to make do with, uh, seeing as how he's just really armored up. Uh, normal wrist articulation with several ball joints and whatnot. He's also got several chest and hip ball joints, so he can, he can crunch and uh, move back as Pretty much as much as he'll need. A lot more than I was expecting, actually. Uh, and the belt, of course, just sort of hovers so it can cover uh, anything that it needs to. There are a couple swivels in the hip area, uh, but he does get some pretty decent mobility out of them. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And a lot of that has to do with the thigh joints. The thigh joints are that uh, ball joint that they've been doing recently, so you can. Uh, finagle him around to uh, not lose as much articulation as you would on another highly armored figure. But uh, double jointed knees and he has several swivels in the ankle. Uh, very reminiscent of older SH Figure Arts feet. He's got pretty good uh, ankle pivot there but moving up and down is, is fairly limited. And of course he's got toe articulation. So is this the greatest Garo action figure? Probably. It's definitely the shiniest. But I think we'll just have to wait and see because I'm very worried about that chrome plastic. If it becomes brittle and horrifying like chrome plastic is wont to do, uh, then no. He would not be the greatest Garo figure because he would be broken. But hey, if it maintains its durability into the future, then 
absolutely, hands down, the greatest Garo figure that Bandai has released. I mean, the other figures definitely have their charms. Uh, I like that the original Garo SH Figure Arts release comes with a cape. That's really nice. But aside from the cape, the Shinkocho Seiho release, or the Renewal release, as I also like to call it, is superior in every other way. But as of right now, he's just sort of hanging out on my shelf with the other Garo SH Figure Arts. And however, while he is fairly easy to find, even on the secondary market, he was a Tamashi Web exclusive, so that means that his secondary prices are going to rise significantly. And since his original web shop price was around 100 US dollars, he is not going to be cheap by any metric. However, if you decide to bite the bullet and split your wallet open, you'll find one of the premiest of premium releases. So guys, this has been J-Man. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit that dislike button if you disliked it. Comment if you feel like it and subscribe if you want to. Or don't. I don't really care. And I will catch you folks next time.